Today we're here with some friends of, uh, of dogs, in particular, Grateful Golden's Rescue. If you're not familiar with them, they rescue primarily golden retrievers, I'd imagine, right? Correct. This is Bob Bryson, who is on the board of... I know, I'm just a volunteer. He's just a volunteer, but we're working on making him a board member. <laughs> I've been trying to get fired, and, and Virginia will not fire me. Well, we'll talk about that later on. Bob, uh, Bob works with Grateful Golden's Rescue, and, and obviously you work throughout the... the you don't work just Savannah, you work the southeast area? We run all the way from Myrtle Beach all the way down to Jacksonville, Florida, along the I-95 corridor. Okay. And you're primarily working with animals in need that are golden retrievers? The golden retrievers and golden retriever mixes, okay. primarily. All Although, right. you know, there's always the ones that touch your heart. Really? Yes. I didn't know about that. <laughs> now tell me about this event in April. In April, we're having our second annual spring dog walk. Um, I also, in another life, I own a tour company here in Savannah, and we donate a tour to Grateful Goldens. All the money goes to the rescue. Um, this year, our um, Grand Marshal is Georgia. And if you haven't met Georgia, this is Georgia. See, hey, Georgia. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Hey, sweetie. This is Georgia, who is a golden retriever. Is she purebred? Yes. She is purebred. She's yes. purebred. And uh, Georgia has a story to tell, which we'll tell you in a minute. But you're doing, tell us about what the, what the event is on, that's coming up in April. On Saturday, April the 9th, we're going to do a history tour of downtown with the dogs and the adults. It's uh, minimum donations, $25 for the tour. And it includes a picnic lunch in Emmett Park at the end of the tour. Oh, sounds kind of fun. Uh, we hope. We, we hope. <laughs> we, uh, we did the first one last year, and we had about 25 people show up. We did a ghost tour in the winter, and we had about 35, 40 people show up, and we would love to have many come out because, as Virginia will tell you, Georgia is a special needs dog. Now, when they come out for this event, are they coming out on their own, or are they bringing their animals? Uh, the animals are absolutely welcome. Okay. And if they do not have animals, we have animals we will rent them. <laughs> Okay, and the, the date again is April? April the 9th, it's a Saturday. And it's downtown Savannah. Downtown Savannah, 9.30. Uh, we start forming, the tour kicks off at 10 o'clock behind the Pirate's House okay. on uh, Broad Street. Now your goal, you're trying to raise about $5,000. We need about $5,000. And I guess that's where Virginia comes in, or you can talk too about uh, Georgia being the beneficiary. Why do you need $5,000? What's Georgia's story? Who's, we're talk, Virginia's going to tell us. She's fostering... Um, Georgia, in, uh, down in Brunswick, so she might be the logical person to ask. What's Georgia's story? Georgia came to us. Uh, Georgia has a very serious liver problem. Um, she came to us from an owner who turned her in because she couldn't house train her. We had her checked out by our vet because golden retrievers are typically very easy to house train. They're very smart dogs. And our vet determined from uh, various tests that he did that she had a possible liver shunt, meaning the, an abnormal vein that grows around the liver and bypasses the cleansing properties of the liver. Um, he referred us to the University of Florida since that was the closest vet school to us. And we took her down there for a battery of tests. She also has a heart murmur, so she was seen by a cardiologist there. Um, the heart murmur is something that is not a serious issue for her uh, for now, would not affect her having surgery done. However, the liver shunt is a very serious um, problem that she has. So for now, their recommendation, which we're following, is we're going to do uh, a medical option whereby she will um, get monthly test run to make sure that her toxin levels and her ammonia levels are not too high. She's on a special prescription dog food. She has medications that she takes three times a day to help um, work the toxins through her system so that they don't build up. And you were telling me that if the surgery can't be done, she will be on those on those shots More for life? More than likely she would be on those meds for the for rest life. of her life. Okay. And so as long as her liver is cleansing her body or as long as the toxins aren't building up, she could live a reasonably normal life. Yes, yes. Okay. She's um, probably going to um, always be slim. Uh, we are the special prescription diet that she's on, uh, which is, is very expensive, is designed to 
put some weight on her, but also be low protein because the protein, when it's metabolized, is what develops the ammonia and the toxins. Gotcha. Um, but we are hopeful that we can, um, you know, put a little bit of weight on her uh, and also, you know, have her energy level such so that she can, um, you know, have as much of a normal <laughs> life as possible. So the $5,000 would be to cover the surgery if you need the surgery? We have already incurred uh, with the con consult with uh, University of Florida, we've already incurred close to $3,000 for all the tests and everything. The surgery, if we were able to do it down the road, it would be another $2,500. Her <laughs> monthly maintenance with the dog food and the... Um, medications and the tests will run several hundred dollars a month. Go right ahead. So the plan is that you're going to foster Georgia and the goal is to ultimately try to find a family that understands her challenges but if you can't find the right family she's going to stay with you become she a permanent. Will stay, she will stay in the rescue as what we call a permanent foster. Dogs that um, are not able to find their forever homes um, stay with us uh, for as long as their life allows um, and we will continue to care for her and, and give her what she needs. Okay. And even though the goal of the walk in April is to raise about five grand, there's other ways people can help. Right. We have what's called Golden Angels. And people can go to our website, www.ggrlc.org, or they there's an address there as well. They can send a check uh, designated for Georgia, and they become a Golden Angel for Georgia. Georgia will be on our website as a featured golden, and we have a, a list there of the people who are helping us help her okay. by being golden angels. Okay. So if you'd like to find out more about the walk in April, actually you can go to our website, which is where you're at right now probably, but uh, 987theriver.com, keyword calendar, and search for the, uh, the April Walk for Grateful Goldens, downtown Savannah. Find out more about how you can help Georgia, and come on out and walk in downtown on a Saturday morning and have a picnic lunch. Correct. It's going to be a lot of fun. A very nice lunch. Georgia is tearing apart my ball. Georgia, would you rather have some yogurt? You like yogurt? Oh, yes. I think Georgia likes yogurt. <laughs> you can just clean it. It's okay. All right. Well, it's really nice meeting Georgia. It's nice meeting you, Virginia. Thank you. Bob, Appreciate of course, you. always nice to see you. Well, we thank you for all your help, Mark. You're very welcome. And uh, check our website and find out more about... Uh, Grateful Goldens. In fact, you can go to Keyword Pets and find out more about their organization. And um, hopefully we'll see you in the uh, in April at the Grateful Goldens Walk downtown. And George is going to be there too, right? Oh, yes. If she doesn't tear this ball apart. Look. <laughs>